Guys, I need to do an intro to my intro. <laughs> I'm not even kidding. This is an intro to an intro. If you're new here, my name is Tammy and I own Walnut Creek Bath Boutique and today's video has morphed into a different type of video so that's why I'm doing a little intro to my intro. <laughs> All right guys, so what started out is a video of my just sharing with you a fall and winter wax melt that I wanted to uh, bring to market. It, it kind of morphed into this video of uh, my start to finish of how I bring a new product to market from the idea behind the wax melts to actually posting them on web, my website or, or displaying them on my craft show table. So it's every step of the way of how I bring a new product to market. So I thought it might be kind of different to do that with you guys and just kind of share with you the entire process. The idea behind doing this kind of like concept to market type of video came pretty early on in my making of the video, but I didn't share with you the very, very beginning. And that's what this intro to my intro is all about. The idea behind these products is I wanted a very particular fall and winter wax melt. Uh, I wanted to use cranberry pumpkin. That very may well be in my October uh, Soap of the Month Club as an extra. When I decided that I wanted these two scents, I did go ahead and test those in just a clam, like I do my clamshell mold, and that's my testing that I, that I always use that as tests. Those tests worked out really well. These Both of these scents are really, really nice. I would always, always, always test a wax melt before bringing it to market. I just tested one today that's going in the trash because it's not a very good one at all. I couldn't smell a thing. So that's why we test, guys. <laughs> so that's it, guys. My intro to my intro is done. Let's get on with this video. Look at these cutie patootie pumpkin uh, silicone molds I got from Amazon. These are linked in my Amazon storefront. If you want to check that out, it's always linked down in the description box. So these are going to be for a cranberry pumpkin scented wax melt. It's a very popular soap. You would not expect, I would not expect a pumpkin scented soap to be very popular. It's a very pleasant uh, scented soap. How can I say this? Not too overly foody. For somehow it doesn't doesn't come across that way even though it is definitely pumpkin and definitely cranberry it's a winner it's always very popular my other scent i'm making what is my other scent shimmering snowflake i don't know where it's at <laughs> i have to go get it i told you i'm not ready <laughs> shimmering snowflake is a fragrance oil i get from the flaming candle i really like this scent and look at these cutie patootie ones too Look at these, they're so cute guys. They're little snowflakes. I have three of these and I just think that's really pretty. So I'm gonna make a fun little bitty, tiny little snowflake wax melts for my shimmering snowflake. First things first, I have to get my wax ready. Now I do have my wax burner. I'll probably just put this on the back counter. I got that on Amazon. It again, I'm not trying to you know, pimp my store out, but it is on my website. I do get questions about that and uh, it is on my storefront if you wanna look at that. Uh, but any any little electric cheap, don't, don't spend a lot of money on it because it gets gunky with wax and different things. So don't spend a ton of money on those things. But any brand, any style will do for you. Let me get ready. My throat's all croaky. Hang on, I'll be right back. I was just about ready to give up on Shimmering Snowflake because I could not find this anywhere. <laughs> and it was in my bath bomb box. I have, I'm trying to organize my scents. I have scents specifically for, you know, wax melts or soaps or on my back counter, I have a big tub of bath bombs that are, you know, soap and bath bombs. But anyway, it was in there. I, it's been 10 minutes. <laughs> I have my little pretty cardinal uh, towel that is just chock full of wax. This is my wax towel. And that protects my countertop. And I have this, I don't know, brown paper I got from, I believe, Lowe's years and years ago. And it's you know, pretty good. And it also just is there to protect my countertop. 
I have my pancake batter. It's got wax on it too, but that's okay. It's wax. Alrighty. Shimmering snowflake. Should we do that one first? That one's probably going to be the easy one. <laughs> you know what? I'm getting, it's, it's getting late. Maybe I should do the hard one first or I'll just peter out and not want to do the, the easy one. So we're going to set, set that one aside. And let's do our pumpkin and let me get my cranberry mold out. I only have the one cranberry mold there. So this is the spatula. I use this every time just to stir. This is my wooden skewer. I use this every single time. I just reuse both of those. These are my colors. And so for my cranberry, there's orange for pumpkin. Um, there's red. I want a, uh, you know, a more maroon red. And I honestly don't know the difference between magenta and red. Alexa says that magenta is kind of a purple red or red purple. I think I'll go with that. Maybe one of each. I'll play around with that. So those are the colors because my snowflake is white. So I am making 15 ounces the first go. So my whole batch is a 30 ounce batch. But as I don't know how much this holds, I'm just gonna go half a batch to start with. So in here, I'm gonna put, and I'm gonna give you my ratio on this. Um, I do a 10% fragrance load. I could go up to 12, but I just think that's bad business. <laughs> I only go up to 12% on my fragrance load if it is a fragrance that isn't really working very well and I feel like I need that extra bump to get a decent scent. If I have to do that, I will, but then I don't buy that fragrance oil again. And once it's done, it's done. And then I, I supplement that with a fragrance oil that I really only have to go up to 10. Because I use Pro Blend 650. I get that from the Flaming Candle. So I'm gonna put 340 grams of that in here. I have a toe over here full of my tart wax. All right, 340. I do have another tote of IGI 4625, and this is a pillar uh, paraffin. And so the Pro Blend 650 or 600, 650, is a parasoy. I tried the plain uh, soy, and I just wasn't getting much of a scent throw on those. I mean, every once in a while I would, but I had a lot more trouble finding fragrances that would work with a pure soy. Every once in a while I think I might try like a, a different type of wax, but so far Parasoy is working wonderful. This Pro Blend 650 I feel is a little soft still. I want to be able to pop it right out of those wax tart um, burner things. And without adding a little extra paraffin, I'm digging it and, and having to clean it out and it doesn't really pop out in one nice big solid piece. Adding 10% paraffin, pure paraffin, does the trick for me. So I'm adding 77 grams of paraffin. And I should say, obviously this is ridiculously hard. So I have a little hammer, I have a chisel, and I chisel away at it whenever I need more. It's very loud and annoying though. <laughs> now because I am adding color to this, I am going to put some Vibar in here. And this is just a, um, I don't know, I don't know what it is actually. Is it, is it a wax of sorts? It protects the colors of your tarts. So I am using, so I'm just gonna add three grams. It doesn't have to be exact. But I have had my uh, wax melts fade in the sun and that'll keep help that from keep, keeping, heavens guys, it will help keep that from happening. Set it, got it. All right, not much more. Oh, you know what? Crap, I messed up. I made a mistake on my measurements. Let me put this on the burner because I just fixed it. So I made a mistake when I told you that I needed 77 grams of 
IGI 4625. That's for my full batch. And I'm, I'm doing half a batch at a time just because I don't know how much wax these are gonna hold. I'm making this so much harder than it needs to be. My recipe is 680, 85, 85. 680 Pro Blend, 85 Paraffin, 85 Fragrance Oil grams. That's my, that's my recipe unless I need to tweak it. Now my Shimmering Snowflake, I'm tweaking that and increasing that to, I believe, 11% instead of uh, 9 or 10%. So I'm just upping that just a little bit and that's why those numbers were a little skewed. But for Cranberry Pumpkin, it does not need to go above 10%. It is plenty strong at 10%. Just to clarify, 680, 85, 85, I will put that in the description box below so people that are completely lost right now for me won't be having to figure that out after the fact. I'll cut out all the crap I just said. <laughs> that was so confusing. All right, so I need 42.5 grams of fragrance oil. My scale doesn't do 0.5 grams, so I'll just do 42 to 43 and call it good. 43 it is. Oh, it smells so good. Guys, I will bring you back when it is time to add my colors. All right, we are at about 190, and there's just one little piece that's being stubborn in there, so I'm gonna stir it for a second. Normally, I would add the color first, but as I am splitting this and using two different colors, I'm gonna go ahead and add my fragrance oil, stir that in, that dropped it down to about 173. I'm not sure how much I need to add for my little cranberry mold. I got a box of free pipettes and they are a huge, I got a huge box of pipettes that we're gonna get thrown away at work. You know, it's sometimes very handy to work in a hospital. So I got a really big box. I, there's probably two or 300 in there, but there's three ml. And that seems like a bit tedious at times. So I went and grabbed a five ml. I think this is a five or is this a three and that's a two or something like that. Let's see, let me put my glasses on. I'm curious now. Yeah, this is three. So that must be a two ml. It's getting quite cold. So I'm gonna go ahead and let's just weigh this off close enough to 100 grams and I'm going to add my colorant so I'm going to it's a very small amount so I'm just going to start with one magenta and see what color I get with that so I have my other pitcher on the back counter just staying warm it's like on a number one on that heat heat thing and I'm going to melt my sides here a little bit so I have a little freezer paper that I was using from last time and I'm just going to put a little on there that is too bright to be a cranberry. So I'm gonna do maybe another red. Let's see if this makes any difference. I feel like I wanna add a black. So this may be a huge mistake, but it just needs some deepness to it. I wish I could do like half a drop. I'm gonna be very careful and do the smallest drop I could possibly do. And let's see what happens here. I think that is much better, guys. I'm proud of myself. I'm gonna get this back up to temp. It's very, very cold. Let's test it. Yeah, it's 138. We're back to 160-ish, 165. Didn't take very long. Let me see, I'm gonna make this as fast as I can because I know this is gonna get all gunked up and, and solid pretty quickly in there. So that was almost exactly 50 grams. So good to know there. The reason I'm doing some clamshells are the boutique that I have my wax melts in. She has somebody that does foodie wax melts. And so I am not supposed to bring any type of uh, wax melts in there that are in that kind of vein. So I can use my clams, but that's it. And that's fine. I'm okay with that. Let's put my orange. I really wanna know how much each one of these is weighing. 
Uh, let me make myself some room here. I am going to put this on the scale so I can figure that out for next time. Ah! Oh man, that was not smart. Yes, I dumped it on the floor, but I think my cranberries are going to be okay. They're a little gunky looking, <laughs> but they're going to be okay. Let me take those off the shelf. Dang it, guys. I'm an idiot. Heavens. Where's my other clamshell? Is it over there still? All right. I don't know where it went. Here's a different one. Okay. <laughs> okay. I get so mad at myself for doing that stuff. I still want to know how much this is, but I can't see my scale. All right. I think I have my scale to the point where I can monitor it. Heavens, this one's been a mess. This is a little colder than I normally will pour. So we'll just see. So that is 575. I think I could probably say six ounces per uh, mold. That was kind of a mess, guys. It was way, way too, too uh, soft or cold to pour well. And I had to keep hitting it with my heat gun to get it to come through. It was kind of a mess. But I'm just taking my paper towel and wiping down the inside of my thing here. Trying to get most of that wax off. But honestly, if there's a little bit of wax residue, it doesn't hurt my feelings. It doesn't really transfer from one scent to another. If I was to change scents at this point, it's fine. Okay, so I'm gonna reset. So these are about half an ounce each. That's where those are at, so I can move this off my scale. And I am gonna make a brand new put this up, keep that, a batch. I may even add a little bit of a brown to the orange this time, just to make it deeper. I'll bring you back when I feel like there's something new to see. I went ahead and have my shimmering snowflake on the back counter as well on my second burner melting down and I definitely want to do a more of a blue glitter type of scenario really like an icy blue if I could if I have anything like that this arctic sparkle may be nice it's got some clear white silver and blue I like that one a lot um, this one is called Silent Night, but it's got some more deeper blues in there. I like that one as well. I think I've got it. I think I'm going to use those two. Oh, shoot. I hate to waste it because it's expensive. And fill all these cavities with some pretty blue sparkles. pouring my shimmering snowflake. I honestly could not do all these tiny little cavities without this tool. No way. These are my little scent testers. And then I sell them too. If I make a bunch, I'll sell them for a dollar. But I do keep them and wrap them up for people to be able to smell them on my table. That round is done. I cannot wait to unmold these, but it's like nine o'clock, so I'm going to bed. So I will see you tomorrow. Let's take a look. Next day. I just left them here, guys. Walked away. Oh, Those are quite cute. Now, the actual snowflake design the the design of the snowflake is a little uh, not noticeable as much as I was thinking it would be. It's like, I don't know if it's because it's white or the glitter is detracting from that, but the glitter is fun, right? Berries. 
cute. I love the color. I think it's a really good color for the cranberry. There's that. I'm going to make another batch and I won't bring you back for that. And I'll be back when it's time to package these. You guys didn't actually think I could get this done in one video, did you? <laughs> I hope you know me better than that. <laughs> So guys, I'm just gonna end it here. I will bring you back when it comes to how I package them and my photography, getting the pictures done, how I edit my pictures, how I put it on the computer and all of that good stuff. So I think I'll just bring you back for that section of the video. I thank you for watching. I hope you stay tuned for next week. Let me know what you think about the video. I know I'm not gonna do this often, <laughs> but let me know if you if you liked the little change up I did as far as the whole concept of the video. And then maybe I'll see you around next week, guys. Bye.